distance measurement. And for this one, we will have the patient sitting uh, upright on a hard surface with the hip, knee and ankle bent at 90 degrees. And for the leg length, we will measure the distance from the back of the knee. So I will put my finger here and this will be my starting point, the back of the knee. And we will measure it to the uh, surface or we are on like the floor or here we are on the step. And this will be the leg length. Um, usually we could do it with the patient wearing uh, some footwear because that's how they will be in their chair. The other measurement we will do is the thigh length. And for this one, we will um, use some kind of like a board or something and put it behind the patient's back. So this will be my ending point. Okay. And we will put it, stabilize it like here, upright. Okay. And we will measure the distance from the back of the knee to the back of the back. Basically like this line here that I just put. And we will measure this distance okay, from the back of the knee to the back of the back. We will do two measurements here. The first one is for the pelvis width and the other one is for the back height and we will measure it only to the inferior angle of the scapula. So for the width, uh, depending on the patient is male or female, we need to measure from the widest area. So for females, usually it's the pelvis. Um, for someone, it might be the thigh. And um, to make the measurement easy, we will have two um, boards on either side. So here, this is giving me the idea of what's the widest point here, and the same on the other side. Of course, it's very important to make sure that the patient doesn't have anything in their pockets, okay? And that these are aligned properly. So, aligned upright, okay? And now we will measure this distance. Okay. And this will help us with the with the seat width. Okay, thank you. For the other measurement, we will determine the uh, the inferior angle of for the patient, the inferior angle of the scapula, and we will measure the distance from the inferior angle to the surface we are sitting on. Okay. And this will help us determine the height, uh, the back height of the wheelchair. Okay. 